just to let you all know, I'm still a little bit under the weather, so I will be blowing my nose from time to time. So I'm sorry, I'm apologizing for being gross in advance, uh, but this is me at 70% effectiveness. <sighs> okay, I didn't want to miss these sessions because I love these sessions so much. All right, next question. As a nine of P, I don't trust myself to finish things. The problem that arises is that it I seem to get distracted by something else and lose the momentum very quickly once I start. As time goes on, this knowledge of myself means that I stop starting projects altogether. Is there is there a way to renew this trust? Fantastic question. A lot of INFPs struggle with this for two predominant reasons. Number one, they don't have good boundaries with their inner parent, uh, pi the pioneer. And the pioneer, because they're an outward facing part of you, when the pioneer eventually gets uh, bored with something, and they will, <coughs> they will move on to something else that feels more interesting to them. And the way to have the, the what what boundaries with the pioneer looks like is that you actually take that energy of exploration of them wanting to explore things and re uh, zoom it or re kind of direct it back into the project that you are currently working on. So when you feel your ideas kind of going in somewhere else, uh, take the project that you're working on and put it in front of you and ask that pioneer to start exploring that project more deeply. So that's number one. Um, number two, the challenge here is with projects with INFPs, uh, the big challenge is that you are, in in order to bring it to life, in order to really bring it out and, and into the world, your project, your idea, you need to use you utilize your three-year-old inner child, the executive. And the three-year-old inner child executive has a very short span within which it can work before it gets tired, before it gets exhausted. And it's usually five to 15 minutes at a time before it starts getting um, uh, exhausted by what's being asked of it. Because it's three years old. It's not, you know, if, you're, if you were an ESTJ or ENTJ, then it would be in your as your adult self and it would be fine you could just keep going and going and going but as an INFP you must understand that this is actually a supportive part of you where your real genius is is in uh the the kind of the exploring the ethics and the behavior and the nature of the human race or, or you, you know, the human being or, or what all of those things mean. That's what you're actually really good at. And that should be your most of your day, what you do. So whatever job you do. So, for example, I have a friend who's an INFP. He is a rocket scientist. So he's actually, what he's doing most of his days is he's exploring how the humankind can get into the space. But he still has to, of course, use the executive to get that stuff done, to actually get there. So he takes spurts um, and be very effective and then go away from it and give that that three-year-old part of you a bit of a break and then go back into it, zoom in, get the stuff done and then come out of it again. So you need to do it like it's this like pulsating you know, system for the INFP to get the the uh, your um, projects off the ground and keep them going. So it is not normal. It's not normal for INFPs to just stay on one track and just keep going. That's not how you're wired. If you ask yourself to do that, you will probably um, set yourself up for not succeeding on that. So let's work with what you're really good at. Let's work with your capacity to come up with innovative ways of getting where you want to go and then use that executive in spurts, in short spurts. Marathon is actually a uh, series of short spurts. So think about that. There's nothing wrong with you, nothing wrong with you being an INFP. We just need to utilize the gifts that you have in a way that works for you. So I hope that that answers that question. 
how you can renew trust in 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 uh, you know the project and 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 getting things going is you you understand these two fundamental things about yourself number one you're likely to get distracted because that's how you're wired because you're innovative let's take that distraction and put it back onto the project and then number two um understand that the 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 three-year-old inner child executive needs to uh, get in there do stuff get out get in there do stuff get out and not just go in there and continue to do stuff you know monotonously that's not what what it's built for that's not what they that part of you is built for there's such a um a genius really is the only way to describe it there's such a genius in the infp in bringing bigger visions into life and we should all um appreciate it and respect it enough to 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 treat it in a way that is respectful to to it to the infp to those parts of you so you know let's set you up for success let's utilize what you have and celebrate that utilization it won't always be easy but you know if we celebrate it if we come if we start moving towards it in a way that is actually supportive self-supportive then we'll get a whole hell of a lot further than we do if we chastise ourselves for not being different types